This flock of sheep is going to be sheared. The shearer will cut the thick wool off the big sheep. These are the shears that will cut the wool. The farmer brings one sheep at a time to be sheared. The sheep shearer works very fast. He can shear 200 sheep in a day. The electric shears make a buzzing sound. The woolly coat of a sheep is called a fleece. Look how clean the fleece is on the inside. Shearing doesn't hurt the sheep, it's just like having your hair cut. The other sheep wait for their turn. Do you know what kind of sheep this is? It has a black face and black legs, but its fleece is white. Now the fleece must be rolled up. Watch how the farmer folds the fleece. The shearing is done in summer when it's warm. The sheep will grow another fleece before the winter. The wool from the tail is twisted and used to tie the fleece in a bundle. The farmer gave the class a fleece to use in the handwork lesson. First of all, the wool has to be cleaned. All the bits of grass and bramble must be taken out. The boys are very good at doing this. Next, the wool is combed or carded, ready for spinning. This is done with two carders. They're like wooden bats with wire teeth on one side. The teeth stroke the wool until all the strands are going the same way. They make a scratching sound. Then the wool is made into rolls. Now it's ready to spin. Spinning twists the wool. This is a very old way of spinning, with a spindle. Julie twists the spindle, and that twists the wool. Here, some wool is being wound on to a spindle. This is another way of spinning, with a spinning wheel. The wheel turns a spindle which twists the wool. The spinner moves her foot up and down on a pedal and keeps the wheel turning.
as the spindle turns, it twists the wool. Listen to the sound of the spinning wheel. After the wool is spun, it's wound into skeins, ready for washing. The wool has to be washed because it's oily and dirty. Do you use ordinary soap, Mrs. James? Yes, ordinary soap. This is a bit of toilet soap, actually. We have yes. to have around. Is the water very hot? Just hand warm. Mm -hmm. See, it's slowly changing colour. As a matter of fact, oh, yes. this is some wool that we have already washed. Wool we have spun ourselves. It's very white, isn't it? Children have done. And this is some we have tried to dye. It's very pale pink. Our first try, first effort at all. And over here we've done some more dyeing. Perhaps you'd like to see. Can you smell onions? Because here we're using onion skin. The onion skins in the string bag make a colour that colours the wool. Even dye the string slightly. <laughs> but you see how much brighter the wool is in this one? Now we're going to rinse the wool. We're just putting it into cold water. Press it down with your hands. Some of the dye will come out. Mm, not very much. No, not very much. That's right, gently. And lift it up, Tracy, and put it into the next bowl of water. Still cold water. Mm. This won't take so much mm -hmm. rinsing, will it? Mm -hmm. It's really an orangey colour, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right. Quite ready, I think, isn't it? Mm -hmm. No, we won't need any more cold water, will we? Squeeze it out, Maria. The wool will be dried and then it will be ready to knit or weave. Mary is weaving a tea cosy. And Pamela is making a mat. Diana is weaving a scarf on a table loom. And on another loom, Janet is weaving a belt. Lots of the class are wearing clothes made from wool. So next time you see a flock of sheep, remember, 